Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, let us solve one more problem related to financial instruments. So the question is on the screen. A company raised 40 lakh 5% debentures redeemable after 4 years, which is convertible into equity. The effective market rate of interest is 12%. Split the net proceeds between debt and equity. Show the initial recognition and calculate the annual interest. So, this is the problem. So, this is the problem. So, first is the net proceeds. The total the company is raising 40 lakh rupees. That we have to divide it into financial liability and equity instrument. So, now first let us calculate the interest. Total it is raising 40 lakh debentures, 5% is the interest rate. So 40 lakh into 5% will be 2 lakh. This 2 lakh it has to pay every year. So the debentures are issued for 4 years. So for all the 4 years it has to pay the interest of 2 lakh rupees. Now let us find out the present value of all the cash outflows. The discounting factor they have given in the question that is nothing but the effective market rate that is your discount factor. So take four columns, year cash flow column, discount factor column and present value of cash flow. So since the debentures are issued for four years, all the four years the company has to pay the interest of 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 2 lakh. So we'll find out the discount factor for 12%. The discount factor is 0 0.89, 0 0.80, 0 0.71 and 0 0.64. Now multiply cash flow into discount factor you will get the present value of cash flows that is 1,78,000, 1,60,000, 1,42,000 and 1,28,000. But after fourth year, at the end of fourth year, you will not only pay the interest, you will even have to pay this 40 lakh rupees back. The fourth year discount factor is 0 0.64. If I multiply 40 lakhs into 0 0.64, I will get 25 lakh 60,000. Now, if I add everything, I will get the present value of all cash flows that is 31 lakh 68,000. This is your financial liability. 31 lakh 68,000 will be your financial liability. Now we have to find out the equity instrument. It is very simple. Net proceeds minus financial liability. Net proceeds in the financial liability in the minus madre. Uldira amount 8,32,000 will be your equity instrument. 8,32,000. Next, we have to pass the reporting entry. Reporting entry is very simple bank account data so since when you issue, raise issue debentures you're raising the money so money comes inside the business so bank account debit 40 lakh to financial liability is 31 lakh 68000 and equity instrument is 68 lakh 32000 now there is something new calculation which we have to do that is calculation of annual interest in order to do this we want six columns the first column will be year Next is opening balance. Next is interest rate. That is effective market rate. That is 12%. Coupon interest. We have found out here coupon interest. Either 2 lakh, whatever 2 lakh is there. That will be your coupon interest. Coupon interest. Excess interest. I will tell you how to calculate. And closing balance. So now, totally there are 4 years. So 4 years you are paying the interest. So what is the financial liability? The financial liability is 31,68,000. That will become your opening balance. On this, on 31,68,000, calculate 12%. It will be 3,80,160. This is the interest you should have paid. But what is the actual interest you are paying? The actual interest you are paying is 2 lakh rupees. Subtract both. 3,80,160 minus 2 lakh if you do, you will get 1,80,160. Now, add this to opening balance. So, opening balance is 31,68,000 plus 1,80,160 if you add, you will get the closing balance that is 33,048,160. That will become the opening balance of second year. Now, calculate 12% on this. So, 12% on this will be 
फोर लैक वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन द कूपन इंटरेस्ट वॉट एवर यू विल पे विल बी टू लैक ओनली द डिफरेंस ऑफ बोथ सो फोर लैक वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन माइनस टू थाउजेंड इफ यू डू यू विल गेट टू लैक वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी नाइन दिस यूनिट टू एड टू द ओपनिंग बैलेंस दट इज थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड फोर्टी एट वन सिक्सटी वेन यू एड द एक्सेस इंटरेस्ट टू द ओपनिंग बैलेंस यू विल गेट द क्लोजिंग बैलेंस दट इज थर्टी Sorry, thirty-five lakhs forty-nine thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine. That will become the opening balance of third year. Take twelve percent on that. The twelve percent on that will be four lakh twenty-five thousand nine ninety-three. But the actual interest you are paying is two lakh rupees. So if you subtract both, you will get two lakh twenty-five thousand nine hundred and ninety-three. This, if you add to the opening balance, you will get. Thirty-seven lakh seventy-five thousand nine hundred and thirty-two. That will become your opening balance. But in the last year, don't take twelve percent on this because we have to do certain adjustment here. Write the coupon interest. Coupon interest will not get changed. Your closing balance should be your net proceeds. So what is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is forty lakhs. So your closing balance should be your net proceeds. So closing balance will be net proceeds. Subtract these two, forty lakh minus thirty-seven lakh seventy-five thousand nine hundred and thirty-two. Forty lakh in the thirty-seven lakh seventy-five thousand nine hundred and thirty-two na minus madre. You get the excess interest that is two lakh twenty-four thousand zero six eight. Add these two. Idhar idhar na add madre. Two lakh plus two lakh twenty-four thousand sixty-eight. You get. Four lakh twenty-four thousand zero six eight. Last year you should do ulta. First three years uh, same irat hai. Last year matra ulta mar beka kati. Ya kani namke closing balance forty lakhs hai bar beko. So this is how we need to solve the problem. In this problem the only difference was you were supposed to calculate the annual interest. So if you have any doubt you can put your doubts in the comment box so that I will. Uh, I will clear all your doubts in the comment box itself. So hope you have understood this problem very well. Let us meet in the next problem.